Hello and welcome to Backyard Fruit Orchard again. Uh, this is your host, Home Gardener. Today I would like to show you two new things. Uh, you know, how to prune uh, a dwarf apple tree when it is, uh, you know, full with the fruits. And also why we are choosing one particular training system when compared to other two, uh, you know, training systems. So firstly, I just need to uh, show you that for any pruning things, uh, for simple pruning things, we need a very sharply uh, edged, you know, sketcher uh, with Teflon coating preferably and an alcohol swab or with, uh, you know, any alcohol, you know, detergent, you can clean it. The reason is that this sketcher is routinely used on, on, on any other plants and we don't want to uh, transmit any bacterial or fungal infection from one tree to another. So it's a very, very simple procedure. I have already cleaned this one, but I'm showing you that you can buy this from any supermarket or any you know pharmacy. So now I would like uh, to introduce you uh, to our uh, two beautiful apples, dwarf apple trees in our backyard. The first which you're looking is the uh, dwarf apple tree, Red Delicious. As, as you can see, this, this year we have got a decent fruit on this tree. And on your left hand side, we have got uh, the dwarf Royal Gala, which is also is giving a lot of good fruits. Now, firstly, we need to understand is that why we are pruning uh, these dwarf apple trees, uh, you know, when there is a lot of fruit on the tree. The simple reason being is that if you imagine, if you take an analogy of yourself, when you are hungry and you are doing an important job, all your uh, strength and energy is going towards having that you know proper concept of how to execute that job properly so the trees are not different so we want to really give as much as energy to this tree uh, to really nourish uh, the fruit on its own so the, you know you know so that you don't have you know this tree doesn't have to go uh, on the uh, shock when it's a lot of fruits so this is our royal gala so first, what we did uh, as soon as we saw the fruit, were, you know, was with the size of a cherry, we did the fruit thinning. So you might be, uh, uh, you know, wondering wh why is, uh, you know, what is the fruit, you know, fruit thinning? Fruit thinning is a scientific terminology where you're giving space on each branch between fruits. As you can see, on on this branch we have got only two fruit, you know, two you know, apples. And on this branch, we have got only one. But this one, you know, we did not uh, do it deliberately for the sake of the demonstration. So we left it as it is. And this branch cannot hold the weight of four apples. And it broke apart from the collar itself, you know, and that is not good. And if you, if you keep doing that, you know, it might, uh, you know, give more energy to this uh, branch. Uh, to sustain which is impossible we have to cut this branch right from here to preserve the apple tree energy now basically there are three types of uh, training systems available uh, in the scientific uh, world with home gardeners the first one is that it is the open wasp system it looks like an open wasp and it is mainly suitable for peaches and nectarines and the second is the central leader system uh, you know, uh, you know, the central leader system looks like a cone, one upright trunk and many scaffolding branches. This particular training system is suitable for dwarf apples, apple trees, pear and Asian pear. And there is another version of this, it is a modified central leader system. It is halfway between the two training systems. So any tree that likes central leader uh, system also likes the modified central leader system of training. Now the question is that, what is the best training system for the apple trees in, in our backyard? Based on our experience, we thought the central leader training system would be perfect for this because it looks like a cone and one upright trunk and many scaffolding branches. These trees are taller but fits in narrow spaces because of its cone-like shape. Now the uh, step one of any pruning is that you have to identify that, that this is the you know which is the main trunk so this is the main trunk and the word scaffold explains itself that you need to really have a tree like this which gives a shape of scaffold so it looks like a cone the bottom branches are taller than the top branches so we have to really make sure that this tree does not have the taller branches in the top so that 
you know it doesn't really you know give a lot of energy uh, in in maintaining those things so this tree is looking like a scaffold as you can see this is the main branch and one branch goes this way another branch goes this way and there are no two competing branches you know without any decent gap so we had to prune this last time we uh, we had to prune uh, you know, as close as to the collar this is this known as collar and if you prune too much like if you go all the way deeper it may uh, hurt the tree and it's not good for the health and as you can see this branch this branch is very long and this is the longest scaffolding branch because it sits on the bottom it has got a lot of uh, fruit this year so we are pruning this one so that we will get good fruit and also we have to preserve this energy and give the good vegetative growth for the next season now i would like to show you how we are doing this pruning so for demonstration purpose what we have done is that we have marked with the uh, permanent marker uh, where we have to do the pruning so here we go if you see this one as you can see we have clearly marked here okay so this is the branch so you know again this is the main you know root system you know the trunk system and this is the branch so we have made a mark here and this is uh, you know another way to look at it this is the new summer growth and this is the existing growth so which we have to really preserve so we are cutting on an angle so that this tree does not uh, you know uh, give a lot of energy in maintaining this yep so we have cut this on angle and also we have made a lot of uh, marks here and there so on this scaffolding branch as you can see there is a mark here so we are cutting so don't go too much into uh, the thing just cut it on angle yep i have to carefully see where else i have marked it yep it looks all okay i think this is the one again this is a good indication here as you can see this is the new summer growth it is lighter in shade compared to the existing growth which is dark just cut gently yep and there is one more here from this point onwards this is a very clear cut example as you can see this has the, you know this branch is lighter in color so it is easier for you to pick up which is the summer growth we are going to leave this as it is yep there is nothing wrong with it and if you come here this is again this another scaffolding branch you know as you can see this is the uh, longer branch compared to the one which is in the topper and we have marked here it's clear very very uh, you know we you know with the distinct mark that if we prune here i think uh, this is pretty much it to this uh, royal delicious apple tree i found one more here you know again this is the lighter shade branch so it's very clear to find out which one it is yep basically it is a very light pruning all right now now i would like to show you on this one this is the uh, royal gala firstly we have to uh, get rid of this uh, uh, you know torn apart uh, branch but if you come close with me here as you can see from this angle this is the collar of of the branch we are not going too close to this collar so we are just doing it on angle so that uh, the tree does not get a shock yep cut in one go so it, it has got four trees unfortunately it will go in the rubbish bin or uh, in the recompost uh, bin all right so here we are uh, like you know we were thinking about uh, this branch either we should keep it or cut it at this stage i think we should keep it because uh, you know this is the main trunk and we want this branch to be the main leader as well so there they cannot be two uh, competing main training systems within the tree so it, like it's like you know nice and happy family mom and dad they cannot be two dads they cannot be two moms so same like here you know uh, you have to really 
be very careful in giving uh, the right balance to this tray. So we will also make a mark here. We will cut this branch so that we don't want this branch to compete with other branch. Yep. And other aspect is that whatever the main trunk is, that the length of the uh, you know central training system is that this branch has to be taller than the rest of the branches. Yep, I think uh, we made a mark here. It is going close to the fence. We want to get rid of this. And again, I saw a summer growth, lighter shade, summer growth. As I said, I'm going to leave it as it is here. Yep. I think pretty much we have done with the pruning, but basically what you have to remember is that, you know, from time to time, you have to look after uh, the tree, especially when the tree is in the fruit mode as well. So now I would like to give you a few tips and tricks. The whole process is, is having a lot of complex steps, but you need to remember something, that the central training leader system, you need to have one leader, and three to four tiers. So what is a uh, three to four tier? You know, as you can see, this is a scaffolding branch here. So these are the tiers, so one, two, and three. We don't have more than three tiers or maximum four tiers on each branch. And the top scaffold should be shorter than the bottom. So as you know, you know, as I have explained to you, this is the uh, main training system in the future. So we have left this, uh, you know, you know, as it is, and we have pruned the other uh, training, uh, you know, branches uh, to make sure that this tree does not uh, go into the shock mode. And uh, you know, pretty much that's that's all uh, we have to do. But make sure that you have, you know, you need to choose your day wisely. If it is too windy, don't do that. One last tip is that if there is a too much weight on these uh, branches, you need to give them a support so that uh, you know this tree does not really uh, work harder to give the fruit. So once again, thank you very much for, for watching Backyard Fruit Orchard. And again, next time we'll be back with more informative videos. All the best. Bye-bye.